look at it this way. Your lecture note is basically a creative content, but we all take it for granted that it is just a piece of paper or a PowerPoint slide, but it's not so, because you have spent time and effort to create the lecture note. Okay, now when you create the lecture note, you have many options. One, you can download an existing lecture from somebody else and you can upload it into your system. It's done. You can do it. Provided that the other person has put it under a Creative Commons license. Okay, so you can do it. It's, there is no, it's not plagiarism. Provided you share it and you acknowledge that other person, it's done. So many of the lecturers can do that. The other one is to reuse the content, which means you download somebody else's lecture, you modify it and you give it your license. So it's all, the, there's no stigma attached. Earlier people used to say, oh, the lecturer is copying and pasting. It's not like that. So if you go to SlideShare, SlideShare, you will find many lectures which are very useful, which are Creative Commons attribution. You can download, reuse, and share. Okay, so that's one. But you cannot download copyrighted content. Okay, that you cannot download content which is already in the copyright, like Elsevier, Springer, all those, Taylor Francis, we cannot use that. For that, you need to get written permission from the from the particular uh, publisher okay let's see how you actually make the slide okay so I'll give you an example of slide so we are going to open PowerPoint just open a PowerPoint slide okay I'm going to make a slide and I'm going to show you how to use other people's material okay this is a PowerPoint slide so we are making a lecture just call it lecture one okay okay now in my lecture one I want to insert an image from another source so where do I go? I go to Creative Commons. Okay, go to Creative Commons license chooser. Creative Commons. Okay, this is the Creative Commons website. In the Creative Commons website is similar to a Google search. You can search for images, libraries, you can search. Okay, let's look for an image. Okay, just look for an image on business, on financial. Just look for a Creative Commons search. Okay, search for images, search. Search, just go for search, just search engines. The, because the, your icon is here actually, the three bar, the three bar, ah, okay, search. Search the comments, search the comments. Because I think this is using a web emulator, uh, Android emulator, so you search, search. Okay, search for something, for example, you want to search for finance, okay, just, for, just, for, just search finance, search, okay. Now I want to use the image. Okay, example, I want to use this particular image. Okay, just use any image. Okay, just go to, okay. When you mouse over the image, see, you'll see something there. Okay, can you see this? Like, see, this one means CC. Okay, CC means uh, Creative Commons. The person means the attribution. The dollar sign means you cannot use for commercial use. And the last one means you know derivative. So basically you can use this image, but you cannot commercialize this image. So, for example, if you are teaching a Plumes course, you cannot use this image. If it's our course for our public uh, university, we can use this. For private, we cannot. Okay, so now we want to use the image, right? So, I just click. You click and you can download the image. Okay, download the image. Save image as. You just save. 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 Okay, save, save. Okay, now you go down the image and you will see the attribution. You add the image. See that. Okay. This is called image attribution. You know, when we ask our student to prepare the thesis, we put Sumba and then we put source and then we put the URL and everything, right? So in our system in UMS, we need to put in the, the source and the date of retrie retrieved. In this system, you don't have to put the date retrieved. What you need to do is the TASL, which is the title, the author, the source, and the license. It's called a TASL attribution. So this needs to be copied and pasted in the slide. Okay, so Zul, copy it, please. You copy. Okay, copy, you go back to your slide, okay, and then you add the TSL. You add the image first. Go to your image. Okay. okay, you have the image here, and then below that you put your TSL. Put a small box and you TSL it. Okay, so this is the one which is, okay, so this is called Trackaholic Finance Web. This is the title with the author, Ellie Zepper and license under CC BY NC. So you can add this to your image. Okay, so now that means, now when you want to use image, you have attribution. Okay, so now you basically use somebody else's image in your slide. Okay, now you want to protect yourself. Okay, so what you do, you create your license in the slide. Okay, so how you create the license is by using Creative Commons license chooser. So go back to Creative Commons. Okay, and then you have license chooser. So creativecommons.org, you can find. And then you can find the license chooser. License is choose. Choose. 
Okay, we'll give you the lecture note for this later. How to find the links, each link. Okay, so you have license chooser. Okay, so this is a license chooser to create your own license. So, just for your information, I'll refresh. So, in in uh, UMS, we have basically two options to copyright our work. The first option is you go to PPI website, you download the Borang IP3. Okay, IP3 is for copyright. You fill up the Borang IP3 and you fill in your copyright, and then you can copyright your lecture note. Okay, your whole lecture note, you can copyright it. You attach it, you, you usually it's a good idea if you want to publish, compile all your lecture notes, make it one document, and then you f file a copyright for the entire set. It becomes your lecture note, like a publication. So copyright, copywriting is an option for everyone. Even tutorial, some lecturers have copyrighted their tutorial notes. But make sure that when you copyright, you don't use copyrighted material inside. You can use CC material, CC BY, without the commercial material you can use. Okay, so you copyright it all, you, f you file IP3. When you f file for IP3, you basically, it goes to MIPO, Malaysian Intellectual Property Organization. So they will copyright your lecture note. Now that lecture note, you can reuse, you can sell it, and no one else can take it from you because it's your copyright. So the copyright basically persists for your entire lifetime, plus your children will inherit the copyright after that. After your lifetime, it's still, the copyright is still active. So you need to check for MIPO how many years, I think it's 25 years after our life is still valid okay so that's copywriting but the when you do a ccby it's not copyrighted okay but it got attribution attribution means you attribute it whenever somebody uses this for example your student became a lecturer in another university they use your lecture note they will have to attribute you okay and it's carried in the system so how do you do that how do you set your license so when you do license basically you ask yourself Two questions. The system will ask you, do you allow adaptations of your work to be shared? So yes, your, the work is for sharing. And do you want commercial uses of your work? So if you don't want commercial use, you click no. If you don't mind people using it for commercial, you click yes. Okay. So there, in the adaptation, you see there is another one. As long as others share alike, there's another option. Which means that suppose someone took your lecture note, they'll have to share it alike. Means everything as it is. Okay, with the same license, they have to share it forth. Okay, so these are the things about Creative Commons. So assuming that Zul said yes and allow commercial use, no. Okay, see what comes. This is your license. Okay, so that's your license. Now you copy this entire thing and you paste it into your slide. Okay, copy it. So this is the license under Creative Commons, international license. So CC, copy. And we put it at the footer or the header of every slide. We put it in the footer. Okay, so you put in the footer, copy, you put in the footer of the slide. Okay, So this one will appear in each and every slide. They will carry the Creative Commons license. That means the lecture actually belongs to you. You can save that as a PDF file and 